Hi there, welcome back my friends. We want to decide that war now against the Mammoth Tree Entity. Dear citizens and leaders and... Uh, yeah, we're ready to strike. As you can see, we're moving on here. Taking the last stations here. We've occupied this. We've occupied most of this. We've occupied most of this. Yeah, but... Good economy we going. Our sciences nexus is building. Our ring world is building. Let's make do. Save us fleet is doing what it can. Moving along everywhere. Our bigger forces here doing their parts as well. Some of our friends just hanging around here, but really, we need to control this, otherwise, Upscaling we're not gonna win complete. that. Anymore. And so, we're gonna do it. Research actualized. Shopper Gateway Starbase finished. We could upgrade to a citadel, or we could not. Really, we want to build more galactic wonders. That's the thing. Combat. <laughs> Proclamation broadcasts, 25. Yeah, these edicts, these edicts are so good. Um, question is what to do now. Could be something that would make ourselves a little better. I don't know. We could spam like administrative capacity or food from jobs, like for a change, um, or army damage stuff. Let's see. I mean, I'm really tempted to go for something like this, but... Expertise New Worlds. Um, offset by Paranoid, so we can also go and, and uh, send a genius there. Who can do that? Like Maud Durand. And go for this... Maud Durand. Go for the mm, administrative capacity a little bit. And I'll send someone back to this. Strelitz Gleb. A little bit of economy going forward so we don't have to build as many of these administrative offices. Taking that. <laughs> it's gonna be step by step now. War declared. Another war declared. The Omni Forge declared war. What? The Omni Forge. Oh, great. They got a AI rebellion as well. <laughs> um. All right. Um. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. It's going to be pretty weird, I think. Well then. They're not up against us. Oh look, there's something coming here. Mm. I believe the Mammoth Tree Entity has some kind of big, 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 big problem. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Uh, we are already know how this plays out. Total collapse for the for the own Oh ah oh, yeah, the improved benefits, the improved benefits. How is this going? It's going fine. Now I think we're going to Rom Romsea now. Synapse interceptors, better strike craft damage, uh, one hundred thirty thousand. Yeah, that could be good, but. We really have enough minerals at the moment, so let's just improve our our prowess, our combat prowess in uh, in defense platform hull points. Yeah, why not? <laughs> let's go for that a little bit. It's not that great, but in the end, we'll we'll have that, and then it will be very useful to defend later on. Easy. Oh well. 
That being said, we need more alloys, alloys, alloys. Then everything's gotta be good. That station will be taken and we're flying around with our 200k. Let's take just these these little bits on the side here that otherwise would not go fast. Let's see, there's something waiting here that is still strong, but hey, look at that, Alvaro Diaz de Tuesta in the Fijon Prime sector. As the streets level nine as a governor, that's something really cool. So. All of these alloys. Yeah, we kind of mo want more alloys again to start another one of the, the great one. There's a course to dance. Oh. Well, let, let me check. We have Ringworld side, a course to dance. Strange occurrences have been reported among the colonists on Icy Oceans Prime. Apparently, many individuals have taken to dancing on the sh on the streets for hours and even days on end, refusing to stop until they're physically restrained. So far, it has only affected a relatively small portion of the population, and our authorities have yet to establish a pattern. We need to monitor the situation. What's going on there? What is going on? They're dancing or what? Oh, come on. Really, what is going on? Come on. We want this to be a rural world. Can't we do this? Oh, my goodness. Rural, 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 rural. Forge, industrial, ah. Oh, what's going on there? Rural world. All the workers say, hey, no, we don't want a fortress world. We want a rural world. No. What is this? I'll select the rural world. We got it. Now let's close this. For some reason, this is insane. Woo. What's going on here? Take me back to the place I belong. Close this. It's killing us. Here we go. I I, I don't know what what happens in these in these menus now. It's an alien megastructure. Another gateway by the Panslavics. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's good they do that. And there we go, and there we go, and well then, is the technology going, the technology is growing. I mean, look at that, it's, it's speeding up here, but the, the planet menu is, is so slow, it's incredible. My next fleet encounter. That's actually the last one here. Here we go. Maybe fastest is, fastest is a kind of a problem. It it seems to lose sync with itself. If that somehow makes sense. Let's stop it for a bit. The Savers Fleet should 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 return. I don't know to to one of our our great and mighty uh, stations, of course. Eh? How about the Shapa Gateway? Here we go. It's 
going fine. Let's move in here. Start with taking some stations. That what the AI always neglects. Uh 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 what do we have here? Actualized. A Radiat Shouter. Leveling up already. Administrative efficiency. Nice. How about doing that again? The da what we've got the dancing plague now it gets real it gets really real the isolated incidents of spontaneous prolonged dancing on icy oceans prime have escalated someone the dancing plague can you remember i mean if you've played one of the other games of paradox crusader kings 2 the dancing plague was something and groups of hundreds of new eden cyberpunks are now compulsively dancing in a variety of different styles Doom, doom, to synthwave. Surprisingly, even those uh, who have never shown much interest in dancing are suddenly able to perform expert moves and the old among them have rediscovered the vigor of their youth. Although many residents are joking, referring to it as the dancing plague, it's no joking matter. The dancers show no concern for their bodily needs and risk dancing themselves to death. Start the music, it's party time. <laughs> No, it is not natural. We must find out what is afflicting Situation them. Situation log revised. We must find out. That's that's what we really are about, right? We must find out. Let me give a pause for a short. The dancing plague, my goodness. Let's see. I mean, there's something. I mean, there could be something coming, right? 2,400. That's some kind of spawn year, if I remember right. Ooh. But for now, we're just chilling and moving through it. We need more lawyers, though. The Senate is in session, no? What are they up against? The Paringo, whoa. Special project actualized. We have isolated the dancing plague pathogen. Our researchers have succeeded in isolating the cause of the dancing incidents on Icy Ocean's Prime. It appears the culprit is a gas released by the local vegetation. This gas induces feelings of acceleration and an irresistible urge to dance while suppressing fatigue. It seems to be fairly benign, however, as the colonists' self-preservation instincts prevent them from literally dancing themselves to death. Furthermore, our scientists have developed a synthetic gas that once released into the air, will neutralize the effects of the dancing gas. Local entrepreneurs suggest that we preserve the unique character of the colony by allowing the gas free reign in certain areas, providing a safe space for young and old alike to experience the eternal party of Icy Ocean's prime. Others point out that the gas has certain valuable properties. We can make use of it if we can extract it from the plants before it is released into the air. Um, have a fuming bog or party fever <laughs> i don't know um the fuming bog or the party fever hmm ah come on The show must go on. Let it be like that. We we have something, uh, something very special there. Then it's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice. How is it going on here? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting kind of better, right? Uh, now, if we beat, maybe one fallen empire we'll have access to technologies we've never seen before so that is going on here yeah no need to go for all these fights others can do that <laughs> we'll see what we can do otherwise four k 
Take a Research guess. actualized. Fortified core layers. Defense platforms get improved. Yeah, but we'd rather have uh, strike craft damage improved. There we go. And force is ready. Moving through this quickly. Ah, oh, come on, this should be done easily now. I mean, come on. Oh, that's one of our fleets. Oh yeah, we were like back to the roots Research and stuff. Actualized. Ooh, now. Let me see. Uh, wow, yeah, that's that's kind of much. Let's see. Maybe we can buy some alloys. Whoop. Sell some minerals. Sell some food. Sell some consumer goods. Mm. Oh, 23. Are you kidding me? Whoop. Hoarding everything. Applied superconductivity. Even more energy credits from jobs. Yay! And now, uh, let's let's do that again. Everyone needs some good energy, especially a robot. Combat! <laughs> Our level 10 elite. Can. Fly through here and then here. There's so much to do. <laughs> and we need more alloys. Did I did I tell you that we need more alloys? I didn't really, right? Let me tell you again. We need more alloys. Oh, and here. <laughs> that is just absolutely crazy. The Omniforge now taking everything. Kind of pissing into the party of the Onyx Noir techno technocracy. Oh, yes. Uh, took that down. Oh, what's going on here? In Pelisi. There's something has come here. Some kind of strange fleet has managed to get behind our lines. How curious. Uh, where's the Savers fleet? I forgot. Was it here? Was it here? Was it anywhere? We'll have to look. Go to Barber. Armies, that's the civilian ships, that's the strike force, the Sabers fleet. Catch them, Wilson, catch them. What the? I mean, there's, there's some forces here. We'll just, they're not moving. We'll just add them to whatever strike force is there available for us. Dum ba dum ba da da da. That is just too much for me. Yeah. Merge that with Skelflan. Ancient mining drones. That would be useful. I would really like to find those cloud things, though. What are you doing? Put 
Pelleasy. Ho ho. Pelleasy. Ho 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 ho. I hope our fleets are doing well and we are manipulating us to the to the victory here, hopefully. Let us see. Oh that's that's kind of a strong fleet, right? It's moving all the all the time. There's another one here. Hmm. Could get interesting. As the strike falls, peg Pegasus moving around, and we get some more coronavirus refugees. That the coronavirus swarm seems to be coming back somehow. Oh, that's so interesting, but not good enough still. Not good enough still. And so, whoa, whoa. can we move there? Hmm. I mean, that's kind of dangerous. Let's let's first move to Norberg, and then we'll see. Do we have oh, there, yeah, there's the Savers fleet. It's moving in. It's moving forward with increased supply speed. That Research actualized. The Galactic Treaty Organization. Ah. Let's now sell these. And alloys are so expensive right now. Maybe we'll buy some moats. You never notes. Administrative efficiency, yay! Hmm. Continue that, why not? It's not that great, but it's also not that bad. Here we go. Here we fly into the sky. Oh my, oh my. So many alloys we need. If our fleet is in combat. Charge! Yeah. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> With strong force, the Savers fleet is one of the most effective damage dealers, I feel like, even though th its power is not like announced that much. But, whoo, look at this, that's crazy. Maybe, I mean, I feel, I feel we could maybe go for something even more interesting, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll go back to Pelisi too. Whoop. Maybe a new new design, a new and interesting design. Let's see, how about a carrier Titan or something like that? Is that even possible? No, Titan is always the same. Okay, then screw this. We'll go for a battleship. Hangar bow, carrier core and oh, artillery stern. No, broadside stern. Can have a maximum of three advanced strike crafts. Well then, three is okay. And then we have the phase disruptors. Our go-to weapon. And then for the point defense, hmm, I'm kind of not sure. Point defense energy. 7.5, 6. What is the accuracy? 
75 track, tracking 30 75 tracking 70 range 30 range 30 damage type damage type yeah a little bit lower damage so much better at hitting things uh, Now that's an interesting ship as well, and so cheap. Defender class battleship, why not? Um, give it... We could give it some evasion. That's not effective. I'd rather give it the advanced afterburners again. Ship is one. 81 and now it's 220 that's not too bad hyper shields hyper shields hyper shields hyper shields yeah that's too much doesn't matter neutronium armor is doing the job for medium range yeah we should do that it's the best what is it 80 or 150 no that's the defender battleships i feel they could be interesting too i'd like to have more speed though let's see the defender make 170 the huge disruptor 100 yeah a little bit more just a tiny bit It's good though, it's all good. Research actualized. Rubber do Daba leveled up. Ah, the, the, the fleet officer. Synapse interceptors, better strike craft. That's what we want. Hmm, and that's what we get, it seems. Um all points you have a promising officer captain lorenzo rodriguez the commanding officer of the eden fearless served with distinction during the recent engagement that took place in the palisi system the admiralty on new eden complex recognizing the qualities of a promising flag officer has decided to promote the captain to the rank of full admiral lorenzo rodriguez let me show. Let me look at Lorenzo. He's aggressive, an aggressive engineer. Yeah, I'd like to see him like with his uh, yeah, probably yeah, a screw screwdriver fights always. Uh, it's really not bad. Engineer and aggressive is really a good combination something for like a tanking tanking direct damage combination what's going on here in Pelisi? not much eh? just taking everything down without without any doubt how's that going for us it should be going well coming in It's gonna be good. So that's been done. We'll return to Manuel Khan or to, to I don't know, to Shapa Gateway again. And for now, I'd say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode. Finally getting near that thing. It's... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look at this. That could be a chance like to, to, to strike there. But we need some time for that to reach them. And then to warmth. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan. Signing out, and look at that, there is prisms. Maybe we can get some lightning stuff there. See you soon, and happy gaming.